Share the word of God. May we get seated. We are reading our reading. Our text is from Second Kings. Second Kings, chapter four. The reader is Reverend Jeff, Jeffrey Kiambi, your preacher for the day, and I am born again. I love Jesus Christ as my personal Savior, and I am very delighted to be here to share the word of God with us this morning. Amen? Amen. Are you blessed of God? Yes. Yes. So I want to uh, read 2 Kings chapter 4, verses number 8 to 17. The Shunammite's son restored to life. One day, Elisha went to Shunem, and a well-to-do woman was there who urged him to stay for a meal. So whenever he came by, he stopped there to eat. She said to her, to her husband, I know that this man who often comes our way is a holy man of God. Let's make a small room on the roof and put put in it a bed and a table, a chair and a lamp for him. Then he can stay there whenever he comes to us. One day when Elisha came, he went up to his room and lay down there. And he said to his servant Jehazi, call the Shunammite. So he called her and she stood before him. Elisha said to him, Tell her, you have gone to all this trouble for us. Now, what can be done for you? Can we speak on your behalf to this king or the commander of the army? She replied, I have a home among my own people. What can be done for her? Elisha asked. Jehazi said, Well, she has no son and her husband is old. Then Elisha said, Call her. So he called her, and she stood in the doorway. About this time next year, Elisha said, You will hold a son in your hands. No, my lord, she objected. Don't mislead your servant, O man of God. But the woman became pregnant, and the next year, about that same time, she gave birth to her son, just as Elisha had told her. The word of God to his people. Amen. Uh, I have a short verse, uh, just one verse. Uh, is it one or two verses? Two verses in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. Romans, chapter 5, verses three and four and it says i hope you are there and not only that but we glory in suffering knowing that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope the word of god to his children let us pray Jehovah God, this is your word which I have just read this morning for us so that you can speak to us. I stand here as your vessel, Jehovah, that you may speak to our hearts and shape us in accordance to your will. We commit ourselves and we commend ourselves to your spirit to uh, teach us in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our theme today says, 
you give what you have. Can you shout to somebody, you give what you have. You give what you have. Indeed, you give what you have. I want to talk mainly about character. About what? Character. About character. And if you are writing, I will be very happy. Uh, because I am a preacher and I am also a teacher of the word. The dictionary defines character as moral excellence and firmness. Moral excellence and firmness. But such character is not built overnight. It is developed through the process involving experience, hard work, and learning from past mistakes. That is how character is developed. The Apostle Paul had this kind of character in mind when he spoke or admonished Timothy to exercise yourself toward godliness. That is in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7. Paul knew that godly character comes only through resisting evil influence and emphasis and focusing on the kingdom of God and its righteousness. This is how character comes about. Refusing all the influences and all the impulses eh? and remaining focused to the kingdom of God and its righteousness. A man's character is his faith. A man's character is his faith. I want to talk a little bit about faith and destiny. Faith and destiny. Actually, faith means destiny. Faith means destiny. The two ones are intertwined. It also means predestination. Pre predestination. To meskia sana watu wakisema hii mambo ya predestination. Eh? It also means predetermined. Predetermined. That something that was decided before. Predetermined. It also means God's will. God's providence. Divine decree, divine decree, or sometimes faith can be acquitted to lack, or fortune, or chance. And what this faith uh, uh, that is called Hinduism calls karma, karma, fortune. Yeah? Faith is that which you cannot change. Faith is that which you cannot change. Destiny is that which you are meant to do. That is the difference. Faith is that which you cannot change. Destiny is that which you are meant to do. Well, faith is that which happens when you don't take responsibility. It happens when you don't, you don't take responsibility for your life. Destiny is what happens when you commit to growing, when you commit yourself to, grow, to growth, to learning, and taking chances, taking chances. Unatoka unajaribu kufanya kitu. Being destined for greatness. Tumesikia hiyo statement. Mtu akisema I am destined for greatness. Have you heard that statement? Somewhere? Eh? He is destined for greatness. Being destined for greatness only comes through active and conscious decision making. It comes through active and conscious. Eh? Makusudi. Conscious decisions. So destiny is what is meant to be, as we have said, it is what is meant to be, or uh, which you are, you, you are meant to do. Destiny is what is meant to be. You are inescapable fate. So on the other side, it becomes fate, because it is what is meant to be, and it is inescapable fate. Character is destiny, for it produces hope. Character is destiny. It can be changed. Huh? It is what you are meant to do when I talk about destiny. So character is destiny for it produces hope. What we often call our destiny is truly our character. What we call destiny is truly our character. And since that character can change, then destiny, destiny can be altered. Destiny can be altered. Hence, we cannot hold on uh, that, that theory called predestination. We cannot hold on it. 
Mungu aseme hii ni mambo ilipangwa kutoka mwanzo. Hakuna kitu ningefanya hii ni mambo ilipangwa na Mungu kabla hata sijazaliwa. That is what we are talking when we talk of predestination. As we cannot hold on that glory when God has allowed us freedom to make choices through working out our character. God has allowed us freedom so we cannot hold to that. God has truly allowed us freedom to make our decisions. But unfortunately, we let loose our power to act. Tunachilia. And we delay our purpose by projecting human solutions to spirituality. Eh? Tunachukua human solution tunazirusha kwa spirituality. Eh? Sana sana kwa maombi. Na tunasema hiyo, it is just the will of God. Ni, ni, eh, ni, ni fango wa mungu. I want to talk a little bit about our mindset, mawazo, our mindset. There is a scholar, somebody called Thomas Jefferson. Uh, sorry, not a scholar, but the pre a president. He was the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. And uh, hear what he wants to say. Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Nothing can stop a man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Equally, nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. Muti wambayo mawazo yake ni mabaya. There is nothing which can be able to help that person. You know, nothing on earth can help such a man with the wrong mental attitude. Often, we have watched pitiably or with pity how people... Eh? Self-sabotage themselves by seeking spiritual solution to character deficit issues. Wanaanza kuombea mambo yale ambayo ni upungufu wa nidhamu yao. Character deficit issues. I have personally handled many conflicts of self-destruction, especially between close relatives and friends who are supposed to be very close, especially even spouses. You handle, have handled many issues and you can handle many issues. You know, they keep on looking around to everybody as the suspect of their problems, of their predicaments. When their greatest demon, Shidayao, it lacks within them, their character. Their character. Akiangalia hawa, anaona diyo Shidayao. Anaanza kuproject, kurusha rusha, eh, na kula umu, na kula umu wengine uko. Na kumbe Shida zake, ziko dani yake. Is spirituality solution to everything? Let's talk of prayer, for example. As a spiritual solution, you know, it is very important in our Christian life. Prayer is very, very important. And prayer is paramount. I think my next sermon I might talk about prayer. You, but I want to tell you, you cannot get by prayer what you should get through character. You know, many would begin to argue back and forth on this issue, you know? But here, we are not going to argue. You know, ukiongea mambo ya prayer and character, some people might argue. You know, arguments, they don't bring out the truth. Argument, even if you argue for how long, you know? Actually, arguments only determine how long it would take before somebody realizes. Arguments, many times they just prolong. How long will it take for you to understand? Most people believe that we can pray ourselves to success and get away with it. Eh? Get away with virtually everything. If we become strictler to some prayer routine, kama tunafuata eh, njia furani ya maombi, we can get virtually anything we, we want. Paka inafika maali, people even pray and they start craving. They start craving. I know when we were young men, uh, when we were talking about uh, courting and getting married, uh, that time I was, my ear was very keen about those issues. So I realized that kuna hata ndugu wengine wana kremu. Anaona alede na anakremu anasema, that one, I kremu in the name of the period. Kuna mambo mengine, unaposa kukabidiana na ayo, na karekta hile mungu wa mekupatia hili ifute mungu Jesus could have prayed for the resurrection of Lazarus wakati aliitwa siyata Lazarus alikuwa tayari ya mekufa 
na alikuwa mgonjwa na aliyatoa ni mgonjwa akaendelea mpaka siku ikamalizika siku moja mbili basi wako pale Jesus would just have uttered a word from the distance and Lazarus would have been selected but he decided to come in person that is character Bwana Yesu asifiwe alikuja mwenyewe eh sio wewe unaulisanga kanisa inaendelea namna gani eh viti zimepangwa ziko spaced have you ever tried to be part of it being part of it is character coming to do it yourself is character Bwana Yesu asifiwe You know Jesus would have prayed for the 5000 angry people on the mountain after preaching to them angewaambia waenda nyumbani wakimbia nyumbani waenda wakakule huko waombe nguvu ya mwili Mungu awapatie nguvu ya mwili awajaze waende hakuna mtu atasirai barabarani wafike nyumbani wakule si ndio but Jesus did not do that instead he provided food for them that is character Bwana Yesu asifiwe that is character one uh, the oldest anaitwa Dutch sheets he said this about prayer prayer is not a checklist asking for things from god i repeat again prayer is not a checklist asking for things from god it is not a checklist i have one brother who tells me his priest ya mia aliacha kuomba nikamwambia uliacha kuomba ukaanza kufanya nini akamaniambia mimi kazi yangu siku hizi ni kushukuru nikienda kwa maombi sisi mimi naenda kuomba nasema ni naenda kushukuru Bwana Yesu asifiwe sio kuombaomba maune moa tairo makwa igeria that that thing i love him is one of my best even my wife knows and he has sung very beautiful songs which i love but he he ya mabataro hiyo mimi uangalia naona haina theology kusema kweli you know at least eh Igeria hasio Igeria I'm not a very good singer eh? Igeria gai wako adoni ya nierie gari tire gari naona zikitembea na watu nipatie kama hiyo mimi ili nifanye you listen to that song unaona hii ni maombi gani hii kwa hapa prayer is not a checklist asking for things from god it is a deposit slip it is a deposit slip when we enter bank a way of depositing God's character into our bankrupt souls it is a way of depositing God's character God's character into our bankrupt souls amen one british writer called thomas macale kitambo sana miaka ya 18 he said the measure of a man's character is what he would do if he knew he never would be found out hiyo miaka ya 18 Thomas Macale alisema hivi The measure of a man's character is what he would do if he knew he would never be found out character ya mtu kama unajua kabisa hata tukifanya nini hii nikifunika hakuna mtu atawahi jua that is the measure of your character what would, what would you do in such a time that is the measure of your character mali hautajulikana mali ni wewe peke yako na Mungu what would you do that is the measure of your character Yeah. What would ultimately destroy a man going to high places? What and what be? What would destroy a person going to high places in life is not the eh, really the enemies that are waiting for him there. Yule ambaye ata anaweza kuadhibu mtu na kukuharibu, ukienda kwa kazi mpya, ukienda kwa shule mpya, sio wale maadui wanakungojea huko. It is not the enemies that are waiting for you there, but the character that followed you there. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ta hata kiwa hapa watu wanakuchafua na wanawataki hata kukuona utoke hapo Mungu akupeleke mahali pengine. Hao watu hata wakikufua hata hakuna kitu watakufanya. What can destroy you is your character that you take there. Ukienda huko watu watakuangalia, wataona huyu ni mtu aina gani. Na wakiona character yako inaoneshana this is this is a person hata mtu akijaribu kutoka nje hawezi kukufanya kitu. Character matters. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You know Spirituality versus character without reversing prayer bila kupunguza maombi as a spiritual solution in any way it is right to say that many people take character for granted while so over serious over serious seriously tuning into their spiritual mood to nasau character we have become so spiritually in tune 
Only than thou, through prayer, that we neglect the place of character and our relationship with others. And our relationship with others. To me concentrate upon. Many are actually eh, heavenly bowed to Naida Binguni by faith, but without any other relevance at all. Lakini nguku ulimwanguni, tunaenda sisi ni watakatifu, lakini tumekua irrelevant here where God has kept us. You know, you can speak with the spiritual eloquence, pray in public, and maintain even a very holy appearance. But it is your behavior and your character that will actually trigger the manifestation of God in your life for you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Character yako ndiyo italeta uungu. Ndiyo itafuta mungu ndani yako. Sio vile umejiweka na mnagani. You know, a church can be called a family of love where everyone matters. A family of love. Where, si umeona makanisa miandipo hipo? A family of love where everyone matters. Yet it remains a place of it and heart. Lakini ukule ndani watu wanaumia. Imiandipo hapo kabisa ni inakuwa projected kila sandi a family of, of love. A family of this. But people are hurting inside. I want to bring you to the Shuna, my two man. You know, she must have been praying to have a child throughout her life. Amu nafikiri, ilikuwa nisiku moja tu, meaka yake yote akizeka, siya likuwa naombea mtoto. But just because she became hospitable, hospitable to a man of God, you know, she eventually got the miracle that she was waiting for from God. Bona Yesu asipiwe. She was praying, but I believe through those prayers and her character, doors were opened. Prayers now combined with your character. Vile wewe ulivyo, ikafungua mirango ya maombi. Can you imagine if she wasn't hospitable to the man of God and to her neighbor and to the others? She would definitely have missed a very critical miracle in her life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Many a times we pray and we fast and we bend demons to na tunafunga mapepo that even don't exist when our real demons are our fraud character. Hiyo ndio shida. Tunafukuza mapepo huko na mapepo yule mbaya ako ndani ya tabia zetu. Eh? Many of us have insulted people that were divinely placed by God and orchestrated from heaven so that they can help them to fulfill their destiny. Wale Mungu ametuma kuja kukuletea miujiza, tumewatukana, tumewaweka kando. Eh? You know, and some are keeping off their destiny helpers, their destiny connectors. They are keeping them off away. Eh? We need to treat people with respect. We need to, to treat strangers with courtesy. And we should never look down at anybody. God can use anyone to change the story of our life. Bwana right. Yesu asifiwe. It is one writer called Abigail Van Baren who said, The best index to a person's character is how he treats people who can't do anything, uh, any good to them. And how he treats people who can't fight back. You could tell if you are tapia ya mtu wangalia vila na treat what you wale wambawa wawezi, those who can't fight back. Uh, you can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do nothing to him. The way you treat people, you think can't, uh, they can't help, they can't help you. They cannot even hurt you. People like housekeepers, people like waiters, people like secretaries, you know, when you are the boss. The way you treat such people, it is what speaks about your character. It is very, very important. It tells us more about uh, your character more than the way you treat people who are important. You know, people who are important, you know, you know, the way you treat those people can't be measured the way your character is. But the way you treat the lowly people who can't pay you back, who have nothing to offer to you. You know, I don't know the way you have treated people in your life whom God has brought your way. But I want to give you an, a, a, an, a, an illustration today. And one of the most impressive uh, structure or architectural uh, building or construction that has been ma uh, made for military de defense in the world it is called the Great War of China the Great War of 
Wengine tumesikia the Great War of, of China. In 1987, UNESCO designated the Great War of China as a World Heritage Site. And a popular controversial claim, also imagined in the 20th century, that uh, talks about this structure. Now, Wanasema, it is the only man-made structure right now in the world which you can see from the space. From the space. Ukiwa kwa ndege, unaweza kuyona. Very clearly. It was originally conceived by one emperor called Queen Chi in the 3rd century BC. It was a means of preventing incursion ama kufamiwa by the people called Mongolians and the barbarian Normans who were trying to enter the Chinese Empire. So they built this wall to prevent our watu wasingie ndani wakuja wakawamia wakaletea shida. History as it that when the Asian Chinese decided to live in peace, sasa wakai kwa, kwa amani kabisa, they made that great war of China, which they thought no one could climb because it nindefu of its height. No one would climb over it. But let me tell you, during the first 100 years of its ex existence, and it is true, you, you, you cannot climb over that war, and it is so nipana. But in the next 100 years, the Chinese were invaded three times. Wamejenga yu ukuta waishi kwa mani, but they were invaded how many times? Three times. And every time, the arms of the enemy had no need of penetrating or climbing over the wall. Hakuna mahali walikuja wakakunja, uyo ukuta ama wakaweka ngazi kupanda, even one time, because each time, they bribed the guns and they came through the doors. Kira wakati, Walitoa hongo na wakapitia wapi? Kwa murango. Kikuracho kingoni ya nani? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You know, the Chinese built the wall but forgot character. Building the wall guns. The character of the guns. Hiyo ndiyo ukuta. Hile wangejenga. Ukuta hile ilikuwa na shida ni ya guns. Eh? Though the Great War has over the years become powerful symbol of the country's enduring strength and spirit, but it has actually been a good reminder of the Chinese of the superiority of human character. Human character is superior. This Chinese realized much later that the best defense against an enemy is not a fortified war. Ukitaka kupigana na adui, siyo ukuta ya kujenga, but a fortified character. Character ya maana. Thus, the building of human character comes before building of any other type. Ukijenga karekta yako, umejenga, umejenga kila kitu. Hallelujah. Build relationships and don't ever forget that God will always use a man. Mungu atatumia binada. Binada ni watu ni kitu cha wadamana mbele ya matu ya mungu. Be mindful of your words and how you speak to people. Vila unabiozungumzia wenzako. Chunga yu maneno. Work seriously on your character and attitude to one's life. Your character and attitude to one's life. Fanya yu kazi. And I want to emphatically emphasize that character is not optional. It is not optional for a Christian like you and me. Let me teach you a new word. I want to teach you a word that, 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 that is called Sancrosact. Sancrosact. Wale wanaandika. S A C R O S A N C T Sancro Sancrosact. You know this word will help you to the future that God has planned for you. Sancro Sancrosact means valuable, something which is valuable or a sacred principle that should never be interfered with. It is something valuable or a sacred principle that should not be interfered with. But as a few I would like to urge you, my listeners today, that you don't forget that word. I want my character to be sancrosact. Unasamanga sancrosact. Unajua ukipatia watu jinamumpia na ngumu, inaingia hata zaidi ya yale raisi. Ukikumbuka karekta yako unasama Santrosact. Yanku ni Santrosact. Sema yanku ni Santrosact. Buwana yeso sifiwe. Na hilo ni nakuwa ndiyo jina lako. 
Yeah? When it comes to character, mind is sacrosanct. Unaona check if it is sacro sacrosanct. Is it valuable? Is it sacred principle in your life? No matter where you place your spirituality, character will always matter. Hata ukiwa umeokoka namna gani, character ikipunguka, hiyo kuokoka haitasimama. Lakini character yako ikiwa sacrosanct, itasimama. Wokovu yako itaonekana. The greatest fraud in life is religion without character. Ile kitu baya ulimwengu is religion without character. Haiendi mahali. And somebody said, a man without character is recklessly alive. Unasikia hiyo statement? A man without character is recklessly alive. Yeye yako ovyo ovyo tu. Ako hai, lakini, ni kiuga tu kinatembea. Akina, mbele wala nyuma. Recklessly alive. And this is why William Shakespeare, one of the greatest writers, clearly said, the food is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Shida siyo kwa stars ni kwetu sisi wenyewe. Peter, sure, na ya kaongeza. Ano huyu mtu walikuwa the executive officer wa poche. Kama umasikia hile, hile, hile gali na hito poche. My son likes vehicles so much. So if I mention vehicles, he is more attentive. Eh? Sasa huyu alikuwa ni executive wa manager wa poche. And he said this when they were in an interview. He said, I a character Dream skills. I am what? Andika character. Andika mtu si usifu wate yata masomo sana. Bora tuwa kona kiwango hile inatakikana. Angalia character, then train skills. Ukimuita kiwa na character, ukimtrain skills, your company will excel. Lakini hata kiwa mesoma nini, akiwa na character, that company is going nowhere. Am I speaking to somebody? I want to end my sermon by giving you the final illustration about the country called Germany. I thank God I happened to, to travel to Germany in uh, a few years back. And uh, I, I actually almost, I, I, was, I was in Hamburg. I almost went to Berlin. Uh, it's just something which inter, inter, interrupted. I wanted to go to see the Great War of Berlin. How many have heard of the Great War of Berlin? I've talked about the War of China. Now I'm talking about the War of Berlin in Germany. It was constructed in 1961. Na ili, ili bomolewa 1989. Sio kubomolewa ndiyo ili tolewa sasa mipaka. You know, it was Germany. Imagine what wa Germany wali chikawanyisha katikati. East Germany and West Germany. Na ikakua, ukiwa East Germany, uwezi enda West Germany. Kulikuwa na mpaka hapo ya 100 feet. 100 feet, it was called no, no man's land. Now, in case, and I want to tell you, more than one billion people died around here, Kabaudali. Soldiers were placed. Ukiwanekana unajaribu kutoka kuwande ule, ugurudi kuwande uwa hapa katikati, unapikuwa lisasi. More than one million souls were lost there. It was a serious issue. Yeah, it, it, between people who are the same, the same country called Germany. Wamejigawanya tu katikati sasa ni kama kugawanya, eh, Kenya, Katikati ya kubiri na nini, ene uyo ni siyasa. Eh? Si unakumbuka hile miaka ya 2007. Eh? The same Kenya. So that, that was what was happening in Germany. And one day, some people in East Berlin, wakaenda wakachukua a truckload of garbage. Wakaenda wakuchukua garbage. Wakaweka korori. Wakabeba hiyo garbage, wakadrive all the way, na wakakuja wakamwaga the West. Berlin, the west side hiyo, wakamwanga hiyo mkabe jiote uko. Sasa si wanaona, wanaona kama takataka, sindio? Wakamwanga uko. You know, watu wa west Berlin, walipo wana vile tumemwagiwa takataka, do you know what they did? You know, instead of taking a track of, of hiyo matakataka na hao wahenda wakamwanga kwa hao, you know, walienda wakanunua good, you know, uh, kind, kind food, wakanunua mikate, Milk, chakura yote hile mzuri hile unaweza kufikiria wakaweka koroli, kajaa, pop, wakabeba, wakaenda wakamwaga upandule wa yeast. Alafu, hapo juu wakaweka kibao kubwa sana. Wakaweka kibao kubwa sana, hili okuwa inasoma, a big sign, hili okuwa inasema, it gives what he has. It gives what he has. That 
that's why I told you today our message is entitled uh, uh, you give what you you give what you have wakaweka huko jamaa walipokuja wakaona oh hii ndio hao watu wako na sisi tulikuwa tuliopelekea takataka na hao walituletea nini chakula mikate you give what you have bwana yesu asifiwe you cannot give what you don't have you can only give what you have what do you have inside of you today my brothers and my sister is it it or love is it violence or peace is it dead or life what do you have is it the capacity to build and encourage others or capacity to destroy what have you acquired over the years as you have continued to hear the word of god and to learn it what have you acquired is it this team spirit or pull down strategy I want to end my sermon by telling you that each gives what he or she has. May the Lord help us so that we can give what we have. My our coming to church, our trusting in our God, our being people of faith. Let it bring out the good that we have so that the society can see in us what is good and what is worthy for the glory of God. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Help us, God Almighty, by your grace to mold our character so that as Christians who believe in you, when God Almighty, we interact in our communities, when we are seen, Lord, you are seen in us. Our character, God, is what you desire more than anything else. Help us, God Almighty, to bring out positive character in the society so that we can give that which God you have implanted in us by grace. Oh, Lord, Help us to be the right example in the society. Help us to be peacemakers. Help us to be loving people. Help us, God, to be able to heal souls and to be able to carry this message through the right example. Forgive us where, God, we have trespassed. Forgive our failures in the past. Through such a message, Jehovah, may we shape us so that even God, when, Father, or Lord, in your mercies, you restore us back to the church, you restore us back, Jehovah God Almighty, to normalcy. Oh, Jehovah, we will be counted as people who can lead the world. These are the last days, God, and our character will shape the world. Help us so that we can be able to start a revival and bring many to the knowledge of this great salvation. Let our character be what they admire so that God will glorify it. May you continue to uphold us in every way because we pray this in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's a lot